Hello everyone, welcome back to another figure review. Today we are looking at the NECA Scream Ghostface figure, or at least one of many that they've made. Obviously he has no box. It's because his packaging is a bit different. Uh, I'll put a picture of it up now, and you can see that it's an unusual packaging usually it's a box but back to this i don't care about the packaging we're here for the figure this is again scream ghost face i don't have the box to show you so we'll just show the figure because of the box i had to put something behind there's the figure in all its glory we'll pull him out usually i would have a string here here in here, and then everything else just looks like that. Pull him out, I press on the head. And just kind of... Pop him out. And there he is. Accessories, he has his classic knife, voice changer, and changeable hand. We'll look at those in a minute. This is my first cloth figure, cloth figure I've had. So we'll take a quick look at details, starting from his boots. Classic brown work boots that we see from the movie. Got the nice little detail. Glitter in the cloth looks really nice. Pull up his cloth. He's got nice black pants. Classic leather gloves. Even got some texture on the gloves. The face itself is the classic pale white face. And you just took a hoodie down. That's what you would get. And then obviously with this figure, he's got the tassels on the arms, just like in the movie, or movies, I should say. Very nice. Articulation-wise, he has a ball joint at the head, a ball joint at the shoulder, a bend at the elbow, then a wrist swivel hinge at the hand. Some waist movement. Then you got a ball joint and a knee. And a very stiff ball joint at the foot. Let's see if I can make you stand while I get your accessories out. Accessories. Life, voice changer, and hand. So just like with all NECAs and other figures, take the hand, you roll, I have to roll up the sleeve to get it to work. Step, pop off. Better look at the hand. And we just put the new one on. Newer figures are a lot stiffer. So he's got his little grabby hand. And said grabby hand, you put said knife in. Now he's ready to rock and roll. And you could do it like that, or I like to personally put it in upside down. And kind of get, if I could make him stand. Mm, come on. There we go. Gotta get that classic stance. Classic ghost face. And with his other little force choky hand, here's the voice changer. That can just slide. Just kind of set right in his 
No, it's the other hand, that's right. But you can get this hand to work with the voice changer like I just did. You can have him holding it. We go back to his spare hand. Said spare hand with said voice changer. And he can hold the voice changer. I kind of prefer the knife because it's more classic. Just classic ghost face in my in my opinion. How does he size with other figures I have? Well, let's take a look. We'll get him to stand. First off, we have an, uh -oh, one other horror icon, Pennywise. If I can get him to stand, too. Okay, Pennywise. So Scream's a little taller. Another one, the Terminator. He's the shortest. And then Master Chief. So Ghostface is a fairly good sized figure, in my opinion. Um, he's a good buy. I got him for 25 bucks because his packaging was a bit damaged. But other than that, any movie horror fan, this figure is a great addition to the collection. I know this review was kind of rushed. I had a lot of things going at the time. With the holidays, Christmas, and other family stuff, this review had to be rushed quickly. What's coming up is hopefully another figure review January, another one in April, maybe in May, and then September-ish, maybe. If you like this review, please give it a like. We are close to my two-year anniversary, so hitting what? 330 subscribers would be amazing. And other than that, you guys have a very Merry Christmas, a very Happy New Year, and I'll see you next year. Bye.